looking at a um, subsequent YouTube video, just explain it, uh, just to talk about my experiences with the new Windows 10 game mode. Um, as many of you where, who follow my channel would be aware, a few couple of weeks ago I installed the beta of the Windows 10 Creators update from the uh, Insider Preview Fast Ring. I've had a few updates since. Um, it was mainly to try out the game mode, which on paper sounds like it should be a really decent idea. However, it causes some problems, and I didn't realise it was game mode that was causing some problems. And it seems to be more on the older games. So, bear with me a second. I'll we'll turn the radio off. Where is the radio off button? Hold it to turn it off. Right away, one second. Why can't I turn that off? It's not got it. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Ah. Alright. Either way. Basically, game mode was causing me problems, especially with older games. Now, this, Grand Theft Auto 4, refused to load. Basically, um, it got stuck on the end user licensing agreement screen. Uh, I thought it was something to do with Windows for games for Windows Live, but it wasn't. Um, the only way I could get this to actually initially load up was to actually force it to use the integrated Intel graphics. Um, and which obviously is a load of crap. Um, and then I managed to get it to run on the GTX 1050, but as soon as I attempted to change anything from other than 800 by 600, it would just die. It was having no report. It was having none of it. And um, earlier today, I was live streaming another part of my Mammoth uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag playthrough, and um, that. Um, was having random frame drops for what would be no apparent reason. I don't know why I was doing it, um, but yeah, it was just dropping frames for no apparent reason. Um, so, I, I, I didn't know what made me thought of turning Windows 10 game mode off, but uh, I remembered it was being, it running a lot better prior. Um, and I was thinking, well, what, 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 have I, what have I done different? You know, I've, I've turned settings down to try and get it to run. What is actually different about my configuration between now uh, and when I had it running well? And it turned out, obviously, I'd installed Windows 10. I turned on the Windows 10 game mode with the creators update. Now, I went in. I, I turned all of the game features off in the gaming menu of Windows 10. And uh, lo and behold, Assassin's Creed 4 stopped having random frame drops. It's, you know, a lot smoother. Now, and then I thought, okay, well, I'll try loading up GTA 4. And it's actually now running in 1080p with most of the settings turned up. It looks pretty decent. It's running absolutely perfect. Um, also, game mode is useless if you intend on streaming, especially more modern high-intense games. Uh, because obviously what game mode does is it reorganizes your processor and everything else to um, give it, or everything to the game to try and squeeze out a couple of extra frames a second or whatever. And well, if you attempt to stream, I was tr I've been trying for ages to stream um, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Because I can now actually, since I last did the video, I, I did it in 720p medium settings. Now... Um, now I can actually run it 1080p high, and I wanted to show everyone, oh yeah, look, here it is, running on a laptop GTX 1050, 1080p high, but the minute I um, tried to stream before, using either OBS or Shadow Play, the stream just died, it was jerky as anything, it, you couldn't watch it, it was like watching a slideshow, it was terrible. Now I've turned game mode off, stream is running absolutely perfect again. Um, so, yeah, it, it was all down to game mode. And to be honest with you, I didn't see much benefits from it. I don't know if it's just anecdotal or whatever, but uh, on Grand Theft Auto 5, um, 
my frame rate stayed consistently into the 60s. It didn't give me any extra frames because I had V-Sync turned on, but it seemed to stop the frames dropping as much as it would have done. But I think GTA 5 is more CPU bound rather than GPU bound. So that would probably make sense with Windows 10 game mode doing some jiggery pokery on the CPU side of things. Um, yeah, it's. I don't know, but it seemed to have got rid of on the Grand Theft Auto 5 the multi story car park bug I was getting as well where I would be absolutely fine running around blowing things up in the city minute I walk into a multi story car park the old flipping thing just judded and went jerky for no apparent reason it seemed to fix that and the only thing I could think of what fixed it was turning game mode on so there had been a couple of or what I think are a couple of improvements I mean it could have just been the creators update without turning game mode on I don't know um, and then basically um, Assassin's Creed Syndicate I don't know because um, I haven't really played it that much but it seemed to give me a little a couple of a few extra frames a second nothing major and I thought Mafia as well it, it was doing something on but I don't now going back on Mafia I don't think it actually was because I'm um, I've reset Mafia settings um, and actually I've turned the Mafia free settings up and I'm not get I'm not getting much lower frame rate than I was getting before so I don't think game mode was is doing a huge amount and for what I was losing by having it turned on I, I think to be honest with you you might, your best bet is just going to be to turn everything off in that gaming window I mean I get the idea of it I get what it's trying to do but I think especially with older games it's going to ca cause more problems than it fixes um, I was hoping you know it wasn't obviously it's not going to turn a GTX 1050 into a blooming 1080 or anything magic like that but I was hoping that you know it would solve like the random micro stutters you get in some games so but it, in fact it seemed to cause the random micro stutters so obviously it is a feature still in beta but it's a very late beta it is going to be out released to the general public uh, they say by April the 11th so you're only looking at about what three weeks now until it's released to the general public but with my experiences of it and I've had a few uh, of these beta builds now I, um, I've had about four updates and um, yeah my experiences of it uh, would be to just avoid using it because it whilst it might have given me a bit of smoother gameplay it might have given me a few extra frames it's nothing that is particularly noticeable um, and what you're losing by having it turned on, i.e. the ability to stream in the background or play older games such as GTA 4, what I'm playing now, um, is it just makes it not worth using. I mean, that is, uh, you know, your mileage may vary though. You know, it, it might be something you can turn on and have a play with. I mean, but the problem is, um, if you turn it on, you have to it would then be a ball ache to then go into the settings menu to you know turn it on and then um, when the game is loaded bring up the game bar and turn it on in the game because you have to turn it on in two different places you can't there's no just random global turn on or off you turn it on in the main uh, control panel settings um, and then you have to bring up the Windows 10 game bar using Windows G and turn it on in that as well and it seems counterproductive because the Windows 10 game bar is a bit of a resource hog, especially because you have to turn all the game DVR on and uh, to get the Windows 10 game bar. And it's, uh, you know, it seems a bit pointless because you, you have to turn something which takes performance away uh, to use a feature that supposedly gives performance back. So, I don't know, I just... You know, that, that's my limited experience. You know, I've had it a few weeks and, you know, and it literally, it was just by chance that I found, so I, I, I was all excited for it, thinking it was the magic freaking tool which sorts everything out. But, you know, it 
really isn't. It's, um, yeah, and as I said, it was only pure, pure chance. I, I, I look back when I had the Assassin's Creed Black Flag problems today and thought, actually, yeah, game mode's the only thing I've changed on it. Uh, and it took, yeah, turning that off just smoothed everything out. So, um, yeah, that is my experience with Windows 10 game mode. Um, as I said, your mileage may vary. It might work a lot better for you, or it might be even worse than I've had. So, obviously, you know, if you are running the beta builds, or when you do get the creators update downloaded, then uh, leave your comments below. It'd be interesting to hear how it is working for other people. But for me, uh, Windows 10 game mode caused more problems than it fixed. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, if this video was helpful, uh, hit leave a like below. And if you enjoy watching my content, which I don't know why you would, but if you enjoy watching my content, then uh, hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.